Resident Evil. Attractive loading screens. So, so that's David Tennant <laughs> getting <laughs> getting mauled by some unforeseen force. Hello, we're um, Yahtzee, Scrabble, and Chess, and we are going to drown ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're a fire button and um, playing uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Yep. I say we, Steve is. Yeah, hi. Yeah. That's Steve, I'm Richard. I'm Jay. If you don't know us by now, well, welcome to the club. Yeah. How, how are we doing? How are we doing? Uh, training. Uh, no, not training. Training. <laughs> training. <laughs> we'll do this on standard, standard I think. Yes. I think that'll be, yeah, just to go with tradition. Since it's meant to be the first game we're playing, we'll play it how the first game yeah, should be played. The director's cut with all the uh, deleted scenes put back in. Mm. Are we doing Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine? I think we'll go with the latter. Okay. Yeah, let, let, let's do the, the Valentine's Day card. Yeah. Okay. Fair because enough. this is where all the uh, hilarious uh, dialogue comes into play. Not all the hilarious dialogue. Uh, There's that bit where Chris takes a shit on Wesker's chest. That's great. Oh, I missed out on that, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I might be lying about that. Yeah, might be. <laughs> Thing is, the, the, the DS version, right? Deadly Silence, that actually advertises Chris is hard and Jill is easy mode, which I suppose is fair with the extra ammo. Well. It is technically. I mean, uh, I've tried playing as Chris, and it's so fucking difficult. There's a whole deal with the uh, fake shotgun that you've got to do. Yeah, but well, uh, well, on the remake, it's reversed. I'd say Chris's is easier. Yeah, he doesn't have as many weapons, but he has that fucking flash grenade and that. Just stab it in a zombie's face and job done. Yeah, good point, actually, because Jill has the uh, daggers, if I'm not mistaken. Well, daggers and a taser. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course you get the taser, yeah. Bravo team went to the hideout. I think they both have daggers, actually. Yeah. Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Wow. Yeah. I suppose they just couldn't use the word SWAT. Yeah, Special Weapons and Transsexuals. Yeah. <laughs> So we're in the raccoon forest, the arcade. Are there raccoons in this forest? Also, where are the fucking trees? It's supposed to be a <laughs> Suspicious forest. Suspicious that, isn't it? It's oh, like a forest for pygmies. They've got like <laughs> hardcore grass going on there, but no actual <laughs> beard. <laughs> trees. Sunglasses. Guile! Oh, yes. Token female. And where's his cigarette? Rick to Belmont. It's Rick to Belmont. Die, monster. You don't belong in this game. <laughs> it was not by my hand that I am once again investigating this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. <laughs> the thing that gets me is, right, all the voice acting is incredibly painful and terrible, yeah? But mm -hmm. how is it even modern day B movies could outperform <coughs> it? They must have had some budget to work with. I mean, these guys got hired for how many video games back in the day? I can count at least Time Crisis, Silent Hill, uh, this, Soul Blade. Jose! Uh, yeah, the that's one? the one thing that I always notice with that cut, this cutscene. How she doesn't, uh, pr how she doesn't pronounce the th at the end of it with a mouth. No, don't. Sorry about that. If you heard that on the microphone, there's traffic outside yeah. our recording studio. Yeah, how very one, how very considerate of them to have a. Fucking exhaust the size of a trumpet. Well, I was thinking of putting a red light out the front door, but it might give people the wrong idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like totally lying about a front door. You've just pitched a tent up in the middle of the street. Yeah, yeah. We're recording there. The mansion. So we just completely ruined the opening. Surely not the mansion. Yeah, the, 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 the mansion. The only mansion. The only mansion ever. you will ever need. Mm -hmm. Cast Chris Redfield. Who doesn't smoke in this one, apparently. In Let's the put colour versions of the black and white shit up there. And the Japanese oh, biohazard, the initial release, he smoked there, and there's a few other changes, like gory and death scenes. Do you think mm. Joe's hot? No, but I think they're all bad cosplayers. Uh, I, I, I think yeah. Jill, Jill's hot. She looks kind of stupid though, like, you know, you You know how she looks like she's 10 years old, she's actually the voice director for this thing. That might explain a few people. No. Guile! Oh. What Bravo. makes me laugh is uh, both uh, the female characters, they have the trousers With right up to the evil. fucking tits. It's unreal. She yeah, dressed they, them up. They couldn't mothers. afford a support bra, they're using the belt as, like, multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> what is, oh, what's the word? Is it braces? Lisa needs braces. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right. 
Ah, terrible voice acting ahead. The wow. West girl. <laughs> I think you jump. I think you jump in the gun a little. The thing is, you take this uh, opening scene, right, and um, you sort of Wesker, break Chris? the stairs and put a great big statue there. It, it's <gasps> Devil May Stop. Cry. Don't yeah, I suppose. It's yeah, exactly you that. You just, you know, you try and get out that door, and instead of um, instead of a big sort it? of hand shattering into a million bits, it's just Wesker. It's it's I'm this exact with... same game. And it doesn't kick in the nuts as much, though, does it? No, no. Okay. No. Let me handle this. Yeah. I always find this uh, one particular scene, just as uh, Wesker's saying, stay alert, he ends it with pal. Stay alert. Pal. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> I, I've always been able to hear it. Stay alert, dude, pal, buddy old pal, old chum. <laughs> it's just how he says it, it's the delivery. It sounds like he's uh, sort of saying it in a sort of sarcastic way, like, stay alert, pal. Well, Wesker's out to kill everybody, isn't he? Mm. Spoiler warning. Yeah, yeah. Spoiler. He's, he's gonna feed them all to Plant 42 and the game ends there. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the game's been out since 1995 or 96? 96. And uh, yeah, if you're worried about spoilers now, you're in the wrong club. I yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I, I never completed it. Really? I, I went out, defeated Plant 42, came back to the house and hunters were killing me um, because I turned my back on them. Blood. Oh, this is not Chris's blood. And um, <laughs> and yeah, I had to assemble some Doom book or, or something this. and, and I, I got so bored. Fair enough. That's an honest enough answer rather than just LOL, hate Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, I'm in control. Shit. Well, yeah. actually, LOL, hate Resident Evil. No. <laughs> Dude, skate. Okay. Oh, skate. In regards, <laughs> <laughs> this was cutting edge back in 1996. Nobody had ever animated a walk cycle before. Anyway, they animated a unicycle. That's why Sonic the Hedgehog's legs went round and round. It was just a fucking wheel. Yeah, pretty much. And the first zombie. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's basically a glorified um, advertisement for eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> when your head looks like marble, and get really, eyeliner. A really fucking messy lipstick job on him as well. Oh, and it, it's part of the plan. It's all <laughs> part of the plan. See, he's Kenneth. Oh the my god, they killed Kenneth. <laughs> you bastards! <laughs> god, <laughs> God can't help me now. In the remake, he's um, got a uh, tape on him that you can like watch for a bit of a Blair Witch style variant on his death. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you have to find the uh, video uh, player in that one, if I'm not mistaken. But I just can't remember. So you're running around. Play. You, the first colleague of yours, you basically steal a videotape from his corpse, and you're running around the mansion looking for a VCR. Oh, well, it's a case of you stumble okay, across well. it when you pick up the tape. Unlike most items, it's stuffed into your um, files. I, I, I was going to say like priorities. Jeez. Yeah. Mm. There's zombies here. Fuck it. Let's watch an old video. Yeah, of somebody <laughs> of, of our teammates' death. <laughs> Does that mean they've all got VCRs strapped into the kit? Then? You know, because in the remake, the opening bit, there's a lot of that Blair Witch camera stuff. Isn't it? Um, it's been a while since I've played the remake, so I can't really remember. <laughs> that is the shittest Magnum ever. <laughs> yeah, if it takes three shots to behead a zombie in this, I don't know. It it's, it's that great sort of martial arts smacking sound effect as the head pops. I do like that sound effect when the head explodes. Get Bruce Lee in on this shit. Yeah, pronto, pronto. Yeah. Mm. Spoiler: that uh, shield that Barry's wearing as a hat is is a shield <laughs> that you need to do something with. It's a wooden shield, so don't expect to block much, will it? <laughs> wooden block. Mm. Mm. God. Right. I got wooden just thinking about it. And Is that because doors. of the doors? Yeah. yeah, I thought it might be. Yeah, yeah. with the All Alice the... in Wonderland sort of doorknob things. They were in Resi 2, you know. Yeah, well, I didn't Let's notice go. them. Then. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Help me so, wh job. why are we doing the first Don't Resident Evil, like, about being. two years after Resident Evil 2? It's not the second year of Firebone yet, smart ass. But now, um, a case of... Well, I wasn't exaggerating, but we have really done this about eight years after uh, Resident Evil 2. I suppose it was just a case of a, a callback, really, and it was a game I wanted to cover eventually. Mm. Uh, it's not my favourite Resident Evil, but it's not the least favourite. If you've watched any of my videos, you should be able to guess it pretty much. Either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we love Dreamcast games. Yeah. I I have not said on previous videos how the Dreamcast can go set fire to itself or anything, but uh, we love the Dreamcast Resident Evil. 
honest. Saying that, I don't mind um, some of the stuff they had for the Dreamcast version. But that made it to the GameCube version, so it's all good. Mm. Um, okay. I won't mind playing Crazy Taxi sometimes, I've never actually played it. Or Space Channel 5. Uh, it is Space Channel 5, isn't it? Space Channel 5, yes. Yeah. I've never played that one, but Crazy Taxi, I've had a bash on in arcade. Did we just miss Master of Unlocking? We did, didn't we? Yes, I think we did. Nah, we were talking about Space Channel 5 and there's a Master of Unlocking going on. Fuck it, uh, rewind. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, sadly I can't do that. Donkeys are aliens. <laughs> I don't know what to think about the character models on this. I know that it's the limitations of the time. It's essentially the same stuff that the Final Fantasy VII characters are built out of Lego. You know, mm. just pixel, you know, textured blocks. But yeah, mm. but at least they're in proportion. I suppose. Yeah, and re uh, unlike uh, Final Fantasy VII, where uh, the uh, biceps are tinier than. Well, the yeah, fucking they're, they're getting cloud fucking Popeye arms, but like he's only got Popeye arms for half the game. They uh, they had about seven different models, so you know the characters never remain on model. They're semi-realistic one moment, cartoony the next, and it's not even tied to the emotional content of the scenes. It's like okay, yeah, we've got about eight different teams doing that, doing this game. None of them communicate with each other. Oh, and they're all blindfolded with red hot pokers stuck up their ass. And it. Yep, this is just a reenactment of one of the uh, demo. Bits. The rolling, <laughs> yeah. just, the rolling demo. Wait. Just look at the uh, map and just uh, like, all right, I don't, need, I don't fucking need Ex that. Except it's Chris. He sort of gets up the stairs like, yeah, no. Ooh, ankle biting. For <laughs> kick its head. That's great. A boot to the head. <laughs> Now, in the initial version of this recording, yes, this is the second attempt because the first one went horribly awry. Yeah. What happens in the next area? Uh, you just, uh, I don't fucking know. I wasn't here for the first part. Oh, oh yeah, it was uh, four bullets left. Yeah, I fucking <laughs> got mauled by a dog almost, so this is going to end up well. I think this might be the first band to play slash through that I just die midway through and think, fuck Oh, it you now. best fucking not. <laughs> Yeah, for oh, the, for, hooray! First time! For the benefit of viewers, it's like, sort of, uh, we had a bit of a technical fuck up here, and uh, it, it, it was all Steve's fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have to what do this again. What the hell happened again. there? The bullet went through the camera and hit the dog. It happens in Resi 2 2. I've never seen that effect before. <laughs> Resi 2 2. Yeah. Resi 2 2. It's like Resident <laughs> Evil themed ballet wear. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is such a big fan, he's bought eight Resi 2 2s. And a thong. And a mankini to match. <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Resi 2 2s and. What? I'm, I'm it just... beats fucking door porn, doesn't it? Well, yeah. I suppose. It's... <laughs> I'm hearing my brain peel out of my ears, but. Eh, why not? Peel out of ears as, as opposed to melting out your ears. I'm, I'm unconventional like that. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Right. Four panels. Mm. I'm trying to figure out the best strategy because unlike Resi 2 I haven't got a decent speed run thing down pat. Plus, I recorded that ahead of time whereas we're doing this fucker live. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, we have changed the way we do things at Fire Button. The live thing, you know, it's like full of human error and fuck ups and... Uh, it's just better. Take my word for it. Bum. What? Bum. Bottom. Are we... I don't know. You're some kind of pervert. I'm not, but you are. <laughs> I wasn't saying in the intro how jo Joel's hot, but she looks stupid. Like, she looks like the kind of person you'd tell her that, um, like, semen has to be ingested orally and it's, like, really good for them. So they have to have it, like, every day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jill. Yes, yes, I know you haven't had breakfast yet. This is your breakfast. Just put my penis in your mouth and it'll be fine. <laughs> ends up this is taking all kinds of weird. Yeah, she, she ends up putting that fucking shotgun in her mouth and just Kurt Cobaining herself. Oh god, Nirvana fans are gonna fucking uh, wreathe with seethe with rage. I don't know. Yeah, it's not. It's, you know, we're it, just it, mentioning it. It's a true yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. just a thing that happened. You know, Kurt Cobain shot himself. It's not like we're saying that uh, smells like Team Spirit in the entirety of Nevermind is the most overrated piece of garbage in the history of music, which it is. Yep. Oh, so is. we are saying that, really? Yeah. But... Fuck it. <laughs> Disclaimer: Jay is saying this as part of himself. Um, no, no. To, to and be Richard's <laughs> agreeing as well. <laughs> to be fair, if you had to own absolutely one Nirvana album, it'd be in utero. Hey. Fair enough, I've never released really listened to any of Arna, so I wouldn't know. There's only one song I like and that's um, Come As You Are, that's about it. Well, that, yeah, that's about like the only good one on uh, Nevermind. Mm. 
the rest of it I'm not fond of, but then again I'm not a grunge person. I mean, all you have, all you have to do is just listen to the early stuff of Nickelback, and you don't want to listen to grunge ever again. Well, yeah, I'm not a grunge person because I like music. Yeah. How is he able to just boot door up the fucking engines? He should just play his barrier. The game. The easy. thing that bothers me is you never see the door get crushed. You know, it's like open, uh, lovely touch. It's open in this loading screen, and then all of a sudden, you know, right behind you is poof, it's all stone. Yeah. Like, where are the little splinters of the door? Well, you, you know, do hear oh, it snap. You were all I, I want to see it. He just called us a Jill sandwich. Right. Yes. Uh, he wants a Jill. He wants Jill sandwich. I think I'd eat Jill sandwich. <laughs> Is it a ham sandwich? Da 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 da. Bye. Uh, fucking ew, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, if I was dining out on the lady and she tasted of ham, I, I would get. I would want my money back. No. Let's get back to searching for the I can't believe we're having this happen. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? better than the one happening. <sighs> I thought you were going to be a Jill sandwich, but no, instead you were a Thank Jill you, pie with extra helpings of Jill chips. <laughs> To be fair, one of the things that's uh, even fun is, well, it's not necessarily funny, but it's the fact that he says, I'm going to kick down the door, but he doesn't actually kick it down, he just kicks it open. That's not kicking down the door. The I know you're just picking his words apart. Well, I'm yeah, just doing geez, what, what, what Mike did on you, the original you, one. You fucking bully. <laughs> oh, dear. We are outnumbered. Oh, they're going to double team her. Oh, God. I need to reload. There's <laughs> definitely going to be a Jill sandwich. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Resident Evil. It's just some bizarre sort of orgy porn video, isn't it? Yeah, but... To be fair, there are, like, you know, the original... PC version came with all the sound clips as WAV files and some rather ingenious fellows. I, I use ingenious with you know quotation marks. That um, they made very questionable porn videos using nothing but the sound effects. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Isn't that that one zombie that kind of goes? That was in uh, Resident Evil 2. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, me and Richard occasionally doing uh, Mute City from. Yeah, yeah, from F Zero. Uh, it went to the, the theme of those zombies. So, all right, this one, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's not. You did the infant. Then the lively infant. boy. I, I actually pressed lively boy. I'll do that now. You've not pressed lively boy. No, I didn't. know. Are you sure? I'm 100 percent sure. Well, if you fucked up, then the crows are gonna peck you to death. Uh, <laughs> oh God, what what are you know a squad of like seven birds gonna do? <laughs> Oh, you've actually counted them. Oh, something like that. I think it's like there's three there. <laughs> oh, there's a murder of crows. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess she'll be crowing down. <laughs> oh. If they, if they, if you've if already they, done that. One. Okay, I've done that one. If right. they crow down on her, will she be murdered? No. Uh, uh, I, I can't be asked with like proper jokes. Just press the switches and you know do the painting. You're worse than the fucking T virus. You're turning me and Richard into zombies with your jokes. Yes, uh, mission uh, accomplished. I broke it. Hey, me. It's it's a rusty star. <laughs> rusty star. <Aww. laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a rusty star. It's like the anus of the mansion. Dirty. I get the Filthy feeling my young my young mind doesn't quite comprehend what you mean. Is this a euphemism or something? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. okay. You, you ever seen like a star a starfish? It's got this like sort of little puckered up mouth thing. Yeah. It looks very like an anus. Uh huh. Yeah, the rusty starfish is well, the the rust is alluding to something else that might be brown. Yeah. And that psychological trauma I didn't need. Right, okay. <laughs> well, it is a just survival horror dog. game. I just didn't realize it was going to be a survival horror banter through as well. Yes, right. taking Steve's childhood and covering, covering it in poo. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah! As opposed to piss. Die, doggy. Oh, oh, you know what? The next dog you see, you've got to slash it to death. <laughs> oh, die. really? Yeah, really. It's like, die, dog, motherfucker. You know, we're talking um, <coughs> Spike's black quotation dogs. <laughs> Sup, dog? Spikes? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's sort of this the phrase black exploitation movies, yeah. but he used to say black quotation. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, no, shut up. Uh, 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 you unlocked it because you're the master of unlocking. Don't you think it should say you're the master of unlocking every what? time? It's constantly praising yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because you are the master of unlocking, you have unlocked it. It should remind you every time. It's like, you took a shot and hit a zombie in the head because you're the master of unlocking. <laughs> you do remember, like, the old text RPGs would do stuff like that, right? Every single, like... You ever been in Asda to the self-service machines? And it's like, um, you know... You mean a supermarket chain of no description? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and, like, uh, the self-service machine. The service, the self-service machines. They're like, um, you know, you, you you scan all your shopping, and then they're like, um, insert cash or select payment type. So you like, you click on cash, and it's like, insert cash or touch pay by card. So you like, click on cash again. And it's, it's, it's it's fine, and then you put some money in, and it's like, insert cash or touch pay by card. You put another coin, and it's like, insert cash or pay by card, and you're like, bang. <laughs> You're Shut corroding fuck my off. fucking brain. Right, this game should do that with the master of unlocking. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you want Resident Evil to corrode minds? Yes. Earth. You well, picked up oh. chemical of no known description. Oh, we need even though it says Earth on because it. Because you're the master of unlocking. <laughs> All we need now is what? Wind, water, fire, and heart. And then we don't have to worry about it because Captain Planet will clean it all up. Yeah, pretty much. Because he's the master of unlocking. <laughs> <laughs> Go up the stairs and it's like, hang on a second, hang on. A second. Master of unlocking. Master of unlocking. Master of unlocking. Master of unlocking. You're the master of unlocking. Congratulations. Master of unlocking. Master of unlocking. Master of unlocking. <laughs> So you're gonna shoot him because you're master, master of unlocking. unlocking. Uh, you can't use this alone. Well, no shit. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> master of unlocking. I'm pulling your strings. It's, it's like uh, easy now, Rich. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, he's dead. Parody. So, so you can't use it alone. It's like, yeah, get a buddy, get a buddy, and then we'll let you use ammo. Oh. <laughs> well, they're all, all trying to hug me. Perhaps that's the reason they want to be my friend. They want to be your snuggle Stop buddy. Stop on his fucking head. No. Taking too much damage already. Maybe you later. Just, uh, then why don't you why don't you fucking heal then? <laughs> because I don't know. Because supplies are limited and Steve doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a command just outright to just run up to a zombie on the floor, whether it's dead or not, and just kick its fucking head. Well, you yeah. can play Resident Evil Six, man. That does that. No, I don't want to play a Resident Evil game. I'm just saying what they should be. Uh, is he dead? Yes. I he can't is. see his blood pool. Let's assume he is. If you if she's not aiming at it to automatically, then he's dead. I think director's cut's uh, the one properly. that added that feature actually. Is it? Oh, yeah, I think so. He's dead. He's ruined carpet. Hmm. Oh, I thought you were going to. Uh, I haven't got any get... keys yet, have I? Oh I can't. yeah, of course. Yeah, you need the keys. Yeah. <clears throat> ah. Barry. Jill. What's Jill. Jill. Any... Barry. Jill. Jill. Barry! Jill! Barry! Beard. What? I think you, the master of unlocking, should take it with you. <laughs> master of unlocking. I found this. It's incredible. <laughs> incredible. It's really powerful, un powerful. especially against living uh, things. Especially what? against Steve. What is it? <laughs> Blood. <laughs> As opposed to forest. <laughs> I'll season. get it! I don't know why that came to mind. Barry! <laughs> Especially against living things. Let's Water report paper. this to Wesker. But how about you, Barry? Here, Here, take this I gel know. sandwich. Yes. I thought you were the master of Thank Chris's you. blood. <laughs> I'm smelling a horrible mashup coming to mind. No, only in my mind. Uh, Acid it rounds. That's because like, you're the master of unlocking. That's like your torch that you scanned for me to put in Doom. Yeah. Yeah. Except. Yeah. Uh, Wait, what? Shut up, I'm right. Uh, basically, uh, Jay's modifying Doom for stuff, and in one particular instance, he wanted a torch, so my gainly hands was wielding a torch. Yeah, I'll for put it. a flashlight in it, and the one uh, Steve provided the graphics with it, it looks basically like that acid round, apart from it's it's got a torch bit at the end instead of like just a flat yellow cap. Mm. Okay. Blood. Blood. blood stains. Hope this is not Chris's blood. With all the zombies and dead people everywhere, you'd think there'd be body bits and gore everywhere, wouldn't there? Yeah, you could like nope. pick up an arm and like smack one of the crows with it or something. That'd be great. Oh well. Arm fighter. This too. forest, we don't have to go up to him. Are you sure? Are you sure we don't have to look at him? No, we don't have to look at him. Okay then. Because you don't. Fart want to... noise. Go away. Man. So guys, what happens if you look at the forest? Uh, it, it, he's dead. And, and then, then crows come and say, "Yo." <laughs> And they try and carve your eyeballs out with their beaks. 
And he says, Grows up beat. And then, right? he, then they say, Hey ho, I'm a Lego. <laughs> a Lego piece. I, I don't know. Don't ask. Internet meme. Crows do have beaks, don't they? I'm not going Yes, mad. they do. You, they're a fucking bird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just... Well, it's not like they have bills or Yeah, anything. birds either have beaks or bills. And, you know, the beaks are the pointy ones. You saw the crows up close earlier. That they... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Do, Unless... do, do you even wildlife? <laughs> no. <laughs> I am not a bird watching person. You don't have to be a bird watcher to understand that they have a beak. What did you think? They have a penis on the face? <laughs> Stranger face. things have happened, Richard. Stranger things have happened. Mutation. Yeah. Bit closer, really. Yeah, I suppose that's the T-virus making its effect on the birds, just giving them a phallus for a mouth instead. Could be. Sounds weird. So, this is the puzzle where you've got to, like... Vandalize some property. <laughs> yeah. You just got it. Oh, there's a nice statue. It's got a thing at the top of it. Am I going to use these railings? What the hell? That's there's a of... random shadow that, there. I shot a zomb the zombie's arm off, and that's what happens. It hits the floor and becomes a pile of blood. All oh, right. Vandalism. But yeah, you don't get a leg up off the uh, on, sort of railing to get the bl blue gem off the thing. No, that makes too much sense. Just fucking push it down onto the lower floor. It's chicken with a pulley in the middle. You know, Monkey Island logic. What you keep with the... Ah, the wonderful wallpaper. That is disgusting wallpaper. It looks like somebody vomited on all the walls. I've seen worse. <laughs> Quick request for Steve to uh, go and uh, examine the window. Because uh, anybody that's played this before will notice something. Well, about... if you get the shit ending where the mansion doesn't blow up, it's from this window you look out. Go on, the howling of an animal can be heard on and off. Well, where the fuck... I cannot hear a fucking animal. I never have yeah, been able yeah, to. Yeah, because it's currently off. You're just not listening when it's on. It's <laughs> on and off. On mm. and off. So there's a switch. No, they weren't Aristotle. Master of man. unlocking. Master of unlocking. <laughs> Master of unlocking. Master of unlocking. Master of unlocking. Oh, dear. Hey, you knew that was there. Yeah, I, I, I have been... This isn't my first rodeo, you know. You're cheating somehow. Oh, man, I... You see, it's got up. That, that serves you right, doesn't it, Steve? Yes, it, it serves me right. Is he wearing a tie? Yeah. Mm. He's also wearing a lot of bloodstains and bullets! They're like office zombies. They, this they, come, in, well, they come in three um, flavours. Butt naked, wearing a green blazer, or wearing a white blazer. So this, like, three mansion... Three fruity flavours. This, yeah. this mansion was, like, the administration block for um, the, the, the tea virus. I think it was a cover, For, but, yeah. for Umbrella, yeah. I think it was a cover mostly, but there may have been other reasons for it, yeah. But there's only like one bog, as far as I can tell, in this entire mansion. One toilet? Yes. They, they didn't really care if uh, their employees pissed themselves. Oh, there's only a handful of beds as well, so they must have had like mm. really shit shifts. Sleeping in shifts, yeah, and doing important paperwork on itchy tasty things. Mmm. Mm. I don't know. Right, so we put. The oh, this is, this is the room where you you put the thing in the coconut and throw the. Uh, and then you ruin the plants, yeah. Yeah. And drink them both up. I don't, why put I this? I put <laughs> brain. Turns, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Well. Ew. That's the first plant life organism you kill in this game, actually, now I think about it. Is that why Plant 42 sort of goes badass on you? You know, it's like, you killed Revenge. my- you killed my father. Uh, yes, that, 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 that right there, that was Darth Vader, so we're gonna fight Luke Skywalker. Like, that makes no sense either. Steve. And there's like, all the herbs here that are s just sort of conveniently just hanging around. Well, it's strategically gonna just take them all now. Stash all. Oh, man. I've only just realised I've got 12 handgun bullets to my name. This this doesn't not bode well. I, does, it, does it not? Is, is this like not the bit where Mike would sort of pop in and just yell at you for four bullets or something? Yeah, in the prototype Resident Evil playthrough. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was, it was like you wasted four bullets where you could have saved them and like all the time Mike was like, four bullets, four bullets! And I'm just going to like moan at you about these 12. Cause what? Be right? Surely. How much item space have I got? Have I got enough? No, I haven't. Okay, I'll leave these herbs for later. Right. Are you going to come by here later? Yes, yes, I will. Cool. Perhaps in part X. Alright, so no, all we've got to do now is go to... 
Uh, oh yeah, I've got to go see the keeper about a shotgun shells. That, that mm -hmm. is more like really garish fucking wallpaper, isn't it? I think it's Lost. stylish. There's no wonder the undead are just walking around wanting to kill everybody. Five minutes in that kind of room and I would. I yeah. know, a lot of them are just standing around mesmerised by the horrible colours. Thinking of when my, when is my next meal coming along. <laughs> Speaking of which... Yeah. Yummy! Boosh! Chill ankles! Oh, if only you had that one solitary herb, you could, like, heal now. Be right. We're not dead yet, are we? No, no but y you're waiting until you're like um, crippled. Ninety-eight percent scabs. You're basically <laughs> turning into a zombie, having been bitten on every ounce of available skin. Yeah, mm. maybe. Hey, yeah. look, another uh, four bullets. You you actually have four <laughs> bullets left, so fucking hell. You know, I, I hate you people so much. I, right think, I think Mike <laughs> in the original recording uh, was predicting something here. <laughs> And it's the one, one zombie who has the most. Two, three, four. Oh, you fucked. Right now, just think of it this way, okay? Oh, I need to read that, don't I? Oh, I'll do yeah. It All right. That and he's dead. That bugger was just sat in the fucking cupboard since he transformed. What's what was he doing what, in there? Was he having a wank before he changed? I must th have done. I think, right, that he, he was a fetishist who was living the cook old lifestyle, and in that bed was his wife and another man. That explains the magazine of bullets. Yeah. Well, no, no, he's the cook old lifestyle. He was getting off on it. Oh, like, okay. oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, having yeah. a bit of a disaster bait whilst you were at it. Disaster bait? <laughs> what, yeah. the f what the hell is a disaster bait? I mean, oh, you're right. wanking so furiously that you may end up tearing your cock off whilst you're at it. Masturbating so furiously you become a member of the shambling undead, is that it? <laughs> the <laughs> zombie <laughs> wank. <laughs> that is some fierce wanking. The zombie wank it. apocalypse. <laughs> oh, we haven't done that game yet, have we? What's that? Wank apocalypse. No. We might have to. No. You really are attached oh, to that. Oh, what's in the desk? Shotgun desk? shells. Ah, yes, of course. If this was on well, quotation you use the lock mark. Pick. You have used the lockpick because you're the master of unlocking. Oh. <laughs> does that merge with the other? Yes. Yeah, it always does. Unless it's placed in a box first and you have to fuck around. I'm actually it. wondering how much, what the limit is on how much ammo you can get of any type. Oh, that's quite simple. 250. 250? Yeah, you can't have, two, you can't have 250 in one stack. Oh, bye. Is that like one inventory slot? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell, you can like cram 250 shotgun shells into Joe's back pocket. Or one herb. Or one herb. Oh, what the? <laughs> Where's the fucking logic? Oh. Oh, I have used up all my, all my daily allowance of what the fuck on that. Right then. So we'll just get ourselves set up. And Steve still refer refuses to heal. I'll be fine. It's you already that's not now. bad. He's not bleeding out everywhere. Fuck it. Right then, and before we save and the end of this part, it's book at bedtime, isn't it? It's book at bedtime with Steve, the narrator. Go yes. on, Steve. Take it away. Okay. Keeper's diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, alias, and Steve the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. That's you, Steve. May 10th, 1998. <laughs> Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them with live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. Sounds fun. May 11th, 1998. <laughs> Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest even at night. And then some stuff happens and he's not feeling very well and then... May 19th, 1998. Is my spot dating? Yeah. Fever yeah. gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy, tasty. Oh, that was beautiful. Steve, I'll have you read me a bedtime story any day. <laughs> <laughs> Why, well, just skip to the end? Yeah, yeah, it's like, uh, once upon a time, itchy, tasty, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right then, so uh, I guess this will be the end of part one then, and we shall see you next time. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.